you're not going to have anybody getting in between you and your doctor in your decision making. The Obama lies just keep on coming and you won't believe the latest one. The administration now planning to dictate to your doctors what kind of care you should receive. With me, former Lieutenant Governor of New York and author of Beating Obamacare 2014, Betsy McCoy. Uh, Betsy, thanks for being with us. Millions of Americans are already in shock based on Obamacare, but now what we've got uh, is uh, even worse to come. That's right. This section, 1311 H1 capital B, gives the Secretary of Health and Human Services blanket authority to dictate how doctors treat privately insured patients, patients who bought a plan and paid for it In other themselves. words, not just Medicaid and Medicare. No, not, not those public programs. And it bars insurers from paying doctors who violate whatever regulations the secretary imposes in the name of quality. Well, that can include everything in medicine, telling doctors they can't screen, routinely screen, screen women with mammograms till they're 50, telling right. doctors when they can do cesareans, telling doctors when they should use stents versus bypasses. It, it and, raises and, and, the fear, the very legitimate fear, that your doctor may have to choose between doing what's right for you and complying with these regulations. Because if he doesn't comply with these so-called regulations, which are based on uh, what I'm not even sure, but you've got a patient who's got breast cancer, and she says, you know what, I want to have a mastectomy and not a lumpectomy. And they can come in and say, Who no. knows what these rules are going to say? They're being written right now. But the fact that the secretary is given blanket authority in this law, it should well, she's cause... She's not a doctor. Or she's not. Isn't a that's doctor right. Generally. And who knows whose future secretaries will be. And my question is this. Where are the feminists? Women's rights groups went to the barricades for decades to stop the federal government from accessing your health records or dictating to your doctor. And now they're, com they're, they're succumbing to yeah. a law, supporting a law that allows the president to do both. Have you ever seen a president, and I know you have a constitutional history background, with so much disregard for the Constitution? Well, that's the real issue here. We are facing a constitutional crisis. In fact, this president is the very threat that this Constitution was written to prevent. He represents that threat because as a president, his duty, Article 2, Section 3, is to execute the law. But in fact, he is grabbing the power to change the law. For example, this health reform that he's rolling out now, there is very little resemblance to this Affordable Care Act that was written in 2010. And, and you know, Bessie, what is so interesting is that uh, we just talked about the Little Sisters of the Poor and the fact that, you know, the contraception mandate, they, they, they can't philosophically and religiously comply Look, with it. This, this and Constitution yet he gets said, rid of the employer mandate but can't give them the religious exemption. That's right. In many spheres, not just health care, but in environmental protection, immigration law, whatever it is, he has taken, seized, grabbed the authority to change the law or delay the law. That is unconstitutional. All right, Betsy McCoy, uh, beating Obamacare 2014. Thanks Thank so you. much for being with us. And now it's time for the results of tonight's Instapol. We asked, has Edward Snowden done this country a great service or is he a criminal? My viewers, interestingly enough, were divided. Rick writes, he's a traitor. Charge him, give him a fair trial, and throw his ass in jail. The real heroes wear dog tags. While Joanne has a different take. He did a great service. No one else was informing us that we were actually living in 1984 now. But Michael tweets, Snowden is a patriot if he's willing to accept the consequences. And that's it for us tonight. Thanks for joining us. Remember to friend me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter at Judge Janine. See you next week. Same time, same place, same me. Hopefully not as cold. We have 10 seconds. Have a good weekend. Thank you. <laughs>